we'll all just go through with a statement and then take questions for Ryan Pearson and also do this round. Well, obviously a extremely disappointing loss. Uh, I thought we had great intensity in the first half. Second half, we let it get away from us, obviously, defensively. I thought our communication on the ball screens were, was, was, was not very good. Gave up some shot clock threes. Give them credit. There was some tough shots made by them. But uh, I thought how they started going to Tava in the second half was, was huge. Uh, and we didn't have anybody that was uh, able to guard them tonight you know, in the second half. That was a big part of the game in the second half. I think it's um, all on us, majority um, us not lack communication and um, being in a stance defensively and just um, just have the will to guard and get uh, defensive stops. Um, I think they was just pretty much prepared for that um, late in the ball game if we was down. Because uh, obviously, like you said, they, we came back on them um, while we was pressing at our place. So um, I think they went back and talked about it and practiced on that a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's very embarrassing. Um, we didn't come out with our best defensive effort tonight, and um, it cost us. I think that 98 is misleading, Ryan. It was their prep. I mean, we, 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 we had to press and do some things. It was just misleading. I'll give them credit, but obviously those, our press turned into dunks. That's, you know, when you press, that can happen. So the 98. Um, I think we, um, North Illinois game cost us, like Coach K said, but um, I really don't know the answer to that, so. Oh, yes, I feel we deserve at large be a yes. I think in the second half, you know, we did a great job on top on the first half. Second half, he scored the first three buckets, didn't he? The first, first two for sure. Um, I thought they got him going, and, and then once that happened, you know, I think the driving kicks were open. Uh, you know, and Brown, he's a good player. He's first team all league. He can really shoot it, but I thought, uh, yeah, thought we did a bad job guarding him. You know, we, we had uh, no answer for him on the perimeter. I thought Pearson all year long was tremendous defensively, but for whatever reason, he has not been good against Western Michigan at all. He played behind in the post tonight. When he, when he does that, he's not good defensively. When he plays with his feet, he's good. He played behind, and we addressed it at halftime. He played better in the second half, but uh, uh, we, we need more, more out of him. Than, than, than what we got for a championship game. When you go into the break, only down to considering Luke had his foul troubles. Felt so great. The problem was hit the shot. You yeah. Good we, felt, we felt good. Uh, and I really thought the key to the game was, was the second half, them, you know, ISO and Tava a little bit and to start the second half. That goes off a little bit, that ISO and Tava a little bit. No, they did it to us the first game, too. They attacked where we were, we were, we were weak. How did you evaluate your shot selection in the second half? I, 
I think when you're down like that, you're trying to make quick scores. So do we take bad shots? Yes. Do we take bad shots prior to that? No. You know, I trust our guys with shot selection. Uh, but when you're, when you're down, you know, we start pressing, then, then the last five minutes we need quick scores. You know, running offense and running 20 seconds, 30 seconds off the shot clock is playing to their hands. So you're going to take some bad shots. And we got some guys that can make those types of shots too and have. Well, we were down. We were down eleven at halftime, Hack, and I, I don't think we did a good job on the glass. And you know, at halftime, I know, you know, they had some role players that were kicking our tails on the glass. Uh, you know, Tucker Heyman and, and uh, number twenty-one. I think they had six rebounds, offense rebounds together. Uh, but we were down eleven at halftime. wasn't happy how we rebounded the ball. Uh, yeah, we got to do a better job there. Well, I think he hit some. I think I think Heyman hit some tough threes at the shot clock. I mean, there were some shots that he hit that we guarded really well. Uh, but the, the three offense rebounds in the first half was just he wanted it more. I think, first of all, you know, Whittington inside, we have a hard time guarding him. Um, you know, in, in every game, we've had a hard time guarding him. Uh, he's also got some length that can bother Nate. Uh, and to be honest with you, I think Brown, we've had a hard time guarding him. You know, I think uh, I said this earlier, I think Pearson had three bad defensive games against them. And I, I thought Ryan Pearson had a great defensive year. Uh, he had three really bad defensive games against him. I absolutely do. We're 26 and we're 27 and six. RPI, you know, was yesterday. Well, I think it was 36 in the country. I don't know where. Maybe it went up. 40 today. 40 today. I mean, I, uh, disappointed that our names not being mentioned when other other teams are. To be honest with you, uh, and that needs to change. That perception of our league needs to change. Uh, we as coaches got to do a better job. We as a MAC office has to do a better job of getting the word out how good his league is. Uh, but for us not to be mentioned the last two weeks, to me, is a slap in all the MAC's face.